Hello everybody, my name is Art, and today we're going to look at something I've been working on uh, recently. It's right here. It's called the Survival Horror Test. Uh, if you've played the original Resident Evil and Resident Evil 2, the old games, uh, they have like these fixed camera angle style of gameplay. Where it's like looking through uh, video cameras and stuff like that. I went ahead and built that in Unity. And uh, let's check it out and see how it looks. I had to put the graphics low because my computer can't handle it. There we go. As you can see, uh, that beating noise you hear, that noise, is footstep noise. I put that in the game to uh, on loop to test the distance between uh, the sound, to test the difference between the sound. You know, just to uh, see if it works. Let's go this way, and there we go, the chamber changed. Then we go down here, camera changed again. And now we can either go down that way or down that way, so let's go down this way. And the closer we get to the camera, the more you can hear the footsteps. Amazing. Yeah, this is how, how it basically works. There's a room we were in there earlier. Yeah, it's protected by glass so we can't get through. But yeah. And I pretty much mapped out this whole entire area. Even add a little bit of lighting in it on most places. Well, that looks like a bug there, so I have to fix that. And that's where the camera angle stopped. So, uh, yeah. So far we got a working Resident Evil style camera system. And I go back and it goes back to this camera angle this camera. Yeah. So there's that. Now, I'm going to show you how I did it. Here's the Unity program. It's just a few things. Uh, the level layout, the geometry for the level. It includes a roof too, but I turned that roof off so you can see. It includes light sources, uh, you know, visible lights around the area. The player character right there his model and another player character which is a different control scheme I'm still working on that the camera controllers there's about like 17 cameras in the scene or in the game and uh, these little things switch controllers or switchers as I call them now the way this works is that uh, here, let me get a zoom in as you can see, there's these ribbons that are around everywhere. They're like uh, some sort of striped ribbon pattern, pattern or something. Now the way this works, there we go. The way this works is that whenever the character object goes through this ribbon, it turns off or turns off this camera right here and then turns on this camera well it does that too it also turns on this switcher which is invisible right at the moment and turns off this switcher 
And as you can see here, this is how it's all set up. At the moment, it's just set to camera one and camera two, but it's supposed to be like uh, camera off and camera on. It's, uh, it's not that at the moment. Here's the code for it. I'll leave this in the description below. Uh, actually, let's change that right now. Camera on. Actually, no, this is camera off. This one's camera on. Okay, let's set the code. Uh, here, I'll explain it. First, we identify the cameras that's off and the cameras that's on. And then we also identify the switcher that's off and the switcher that's on. Then whenever we enter the switcher, we dis enable the camera that's off and uh, we also enable the uh, audio listeners as well. The audio listeners for um, camera off is turned on and the camera on one that's on right now is turned off. And whenever we exit out of the object, it turns on the or turns off the on one that was on right now. Also turn off the uh, this one and turns off this one. Or turns off this one and it turns on this one. So this one would be uh, what this object is right now. Okay, so that's how it works. Save that. Like I said, I'll leave this in the description so you guys can edit it and everything. At the moment, everything can uh, pass through the switchers and set it off. But I plan to update it to where only the object, only one object would be able to do it. But in the meantime, it's, you know, something fun to look at. There, there we go. Now let's go ahead and actually build out a build one of these switches so we understand how it works. First we open up the switcher bank and we grab let's grab uh this switcher. Actually let me see. Let's grab this switcher. Switcher three. So we'll need off it and we also need off it. This is another uh, reverse switcher, so we'll need that one too. And let's just duplicate that. Good. They're now set to switcher 14, but uh, as you can see here, this one's set to 3, so we have to change that to 14. And as you can see here, it sets it normally. It sets it back to where it's supposed to be. Then we just grab this and take it down, and let's move it over here. There we go. Now the way this works is that uh, if we're coming this way, then we're going to set off the yellow ribbon first, and then the blue, the invisible ribbon. So let's set this one up first. Right now, this camera angle is pointed at uh, this way pointed towards this ribbon. Now a major thing you need to focus on, or a major thing you need to remember is that both ribbons should at least be in the camera angle. If one of them is missing, then you're not going to be able to see your player go in the room, or go in the scene. He'll be out, if it's outside the scene, then it'll switch and you won't see your player character or anything. He'll be invisible. So you'll have to move that in the way so that way, when he collides with it, you'll switch the camera and you'll be able to see him on the screen and everything. So that one's camera 14, and whenever we walk into this thing, we need to change it to camera 15. So remember that, camera 14 to camera 15. 
Okay, so let's get started. I'll keep the camera paddle open. Let's go to Switcher 14, and right now, camera off is the one we want to turn off right now is camera 14. So we drag that, and we go back. Oops. We go back, drag camera 14 to off, and drag camera 15, right? Yeah, camera 15. We drag camera 15 to on. Oh man, I've reset all my cameras. Don't worry, I'll fix that in a bit. But uh, yeah, we just take that and put the cameras there. Camera 14 gets turned off and camera 15 gets turned on. And we go to off ed and we do the opposite. We want to turn off camera 14 or turn off camera 15 and turn on camera 14. For uh, demonstration purposes, I'm going to drag the player character and move it over there so we can actually see it work. There you go. Turn, let's turn off this camera. Turn on camera 14. There we are. Alright, let's test it out. As soon as we pass through... Uh, oh, here, let me maximize the size. Now, as you saw there, uh, this these things are set to trigger. They're set as triggers, so... As soon as they enter and exit... Ev uh, exit or as soon as you play the game, they'll disappear, but they'll still be there. It just uh, won't be visible on the cameras. They're still there, though. So and they'll be set off as soon as you touch them. Just they won't show up on the game. See? Now we move forward. It didn't work. Oh, there it goes. Looks like we got it in reverse. So, we go back to our off my switch controllers. Go to 14. And the one we want off is 15. Like I said, this script is still being worked on, so I'll, I'll probably have to fix the code and everything. So we want to make the 15 the first, and this one be... Uh, the 14. So it's like the one you want to turn on is this one, and the one you want to turn off is this one. I gotta flip these. And we go to 14 here, and we do the same exact thing. 15 here, 14 here. And let's see what happens. Walk through. And there we go. Works perfectly. And we go back. And it flips back over. And that's how you do it. So yeah. Uh, there we have it. And according, and because I'm using Pro Builder. I can make out the map easily. And then just, uh, you know. Have a, set it up to where the player can go through it and stuff. It's as easy as that. And all it is is just this one script doing it, the camera switching. The one script on both uh, the first switcher and the off switcher. And all the off switcher is is just a reverse version of the switcher. So it's the same thing, it's just different type than that. So now you know, and uh, hopefully you guys can use this tutorial. Oh! Another thing, too, I want you all to let you know, 
uh, I want to let you guys know is I currently have a Patreon. Yay! Yeah, this right here is uh, meant to help me out in my endeavors and things like that. You can purchase uh, one of three packages, or you can purchase them all if you want. But uh, each one does a certain thing. Uh, the four dollar package. With this package, you'll be able to see my posts up to date, and with all the knowledge on it. And uh, yeah, cool things. You actually be able to see copywritten things I designed myself and whatnot with this follower package. Though you'll get to actually see like gameplay footage and uh, videos, and also uh, paper or the covers and everything like that. All the information about it. All copywritten, so you'll be able to see it, and hopefully, with your help, I'll be able to make it into products soon. And then this package, I uh, this one earns a spot in the upcoming contests I have on my YouTube channel. Like, uh, hopefully, in the future, I'll be able to like set up everybody to have like a uh, set up contests for everybody to get like free memorabilia from my store and things like that. Even maybe a free copy of the game. A free prototype and whatever. Not to mention, with all these packages, you get your names at the end of the video. So, that's a cool thing to have. A little shout out, you know. But, uh, yeah. If you guys want to help me out, it'd be wonderful. You know, just check out my Patreon if you get the chance. Thank you for listening, and you guys have a wonderful day.